All right, we'll do a demonstration how to use the uh, pitch gate to uh, adjust your fly bar paddles, okay? So here I've bought this aligned pitch blade device. You can loosen this screw. This allows you to change the angle of your pitch. Okay, and on here there's numbers. They give you a basic guide. So I'm going to set mine at zero. So in this particular one, which is the walker number four, you want these fly bar paddles to be set at zero. Okay, this slides open and closed here. All right, so I'm going to pop this open. I'm going to slide it onto my fly bar paddle. You want to put it in the same spot on both of them. So if you're going to go right here, you can see it's about, I don't know, quarter inch in, about a quarter inch in right there. Then what you're going to do is you look down the pitch blade, and this top, you want it to line up with the top of this or some other stationary object on your device. Okay, you also notice that my swash plate right here, I've leveled out. Okay, my radio is turned on currently, so everything is set at zero. Okay, I'm going to raise this up. You're going to look down this, and if you notice, it's a little crooked. All right, so I'm going to loosen this screw here. It's going to allow me to swivel this however I want. I don't want to get that, so it is exactly flat with the top. Then I'm going to tighten that back down. That's going to give me a zeroed out fly bar. All right, I'll double check that. Hold that up again. Spot on. All right. They don't want to move your helicopter to the second one. What you want to do is you want to spin this around to the other one. This way, in case your servos or the fly bar isn't or the swash plate's not quite level, this will make sure that everything's in the same setting for when you do the other side. Again, I'm going to put it on here. It's back about a quarter inch. You really can't see that in the video. If I like that, you can. I'm going to loosen this guy. I'm going to hold it up. I'm holding it by the fly bar so I'm not touching the paddle. Look right down and again. This is going to spin. I'm going to line the top of this up with the top of my uh, main rotor right there. Let's see. That looks pretty spot on right there. Tighten it down, give it another final check, there we go, it looks great. These cost about $10 or so at the hobby store, they make different varieties. This one was a little more expensive, it was, uh, I think it was like $15. Um, you can also adjust this angle, if you're a beginner with a fixed pitch, you want to set it to about 5 degrees. Okay, so as you're learning, I don't know if you can see on there, that says 5 degrees. All right, we just adjusted our fly bar paddle so they're zeroed out. Let's see if we can get this sucker to take off without crashing into anything. Looks like it seems to be flying pretty good. Get a lot of turbulence in a very small room flying. Let's see if we can land it again in front of the camera without crashing. Alright, here it comes. Oh! Not too bad. Smacked the lamp up there, but all in all made it.